In the past, people in Scotland and across the UK have opened our hearts and our homes. We've welcomed those from Syria, from Ukraine and many other countries. Conference, we must do so again. There are currently one million people displaced within Gaza. So therefore, I'm calling today on the international community to commit to a worldwide refugee programme for the people of Gaza. I'm calling on the UK government to take two urgent steps. Firstly, they should immediately begin work on the creation of a refugee resettlement scheme for those in Gaza who want to and, of course, are able to leave. And when they do so, Scotland is willing to be the first country in the UK to offer safety and sanctuary to those who are caught up in these terrible attacks. <laughs> Conference. My brother-in-law is a doctor in Gaza, when we can get through to him on the phone. He tells us of scenes of absolute carnage. Hospitals running out of medical supplies, doctors, nurses, having to make the most difficult decision of all. Who to treat and who to let die. That can't be allowed. Not in this day and age. So I therefore urge the UK government to support the medical evacuation of injured civilians in Gaza. Let me be clear. And let me be clear. Scotland is ready to play her part at our hospitals. We'll treat the injured men, women and children of Gaza where we can. 